Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to bind a music score into a soft bound cardstock cover. Next we fold the cardstock in half to make a cover. Make sure that the bottom edge is flush and don't make the fold too crisp. After that, we remove the staples from the music scores. You place the score into the cover and line the bottom edges up with the music score about an eighth of an inch from the bottom of the cover. Holding that in place, use the awl to poke seven holes along the spine that are evenly spaced. Once you've got the holes punched, you start the sewing procedure. Take your thread, measure out a length that is three times the spine of the music score. Pull your thread through a thing of beeswax a couple of times. It will act as a lubricant and a glue. It's hard to explain. Take your needle and thread. From the outside, go through the middle hole first. out the hole just beneath it. All the way down to the end. Once you get back to the end, start going back up again. Skip over the middle stitch. And then you should come back out the middle hole again. Once you got all the way all the way through the sewing, pull on the two ends that'll tighten up the first stitches and the last stitches. And taking those ends in your left hand, keep it nice and taut. Using your dental tool, pull on the last outside stitch, then the middle outside stitch, and then the upper outside stitch. And then you should be able to pull on the needle end of the string to get all the all of the stitches nice and taut. You should get a nice little twang when you pull them back. Now to tie off the music score, you have to have one of these ends on both sides of the skip stitch. That way, when you tie the two ends, it makes a knot that holds that skip, that skip stitch in place. Once your score has been all sewn up, the first thing we want to do is add tattle tape to the back side of the spine of the music score. Next, we'll add some lining cloth to cover over the stitching. Take your sheet of lining cloth with the material side up through the glue machine. Line the bottom edges up together and place it on working from the spine. First start in the middle. Just push in from the spine. This glue doesn't bond right away, so you'll have a little bit of wiggle room. The final step is cutting off the excess cover on the sides and the top. To do this, we open the score up, and then using the actual music score as a guide, we measure out the back cover about a quarter of an inch larger than the score. And using the cut you just made, line that up and then cut off the top, also about a quarter of an inch. Then for the third cut, close the score up and then use your first cut as a guide for your last cut. So, and this will be the front cover, so you want that a little bit larger or right on with the back cover. That way, if you look at the front, you won't be able to see any of the back cover. Now that our scores are all done, we just place them on the pricing table to be sent out to our customers.